I'm gonna tell you the best export settings for YouTube in Adobe Premiere Pro in 2022. This will probably last until 2023. Let's go ahead and get started so you can make the crispiest footage possible. In Adobe Premiere, you're gonna to wanna to hit Command M on Mac. You wanna hit Control M on Windows, and this is going to pull up your export prompt for Adobe Premiere Pro. Now you do need to know that YouTube tells us exactly what settings we need based on the quality of our footage and what resolution we have. I shoot video in 4K, but don't worry, I'll tell you exactly what you need to do for crispy 1080p HD footage. Let's start with your format. Use the H.265 codec. This is HVEC, H-V-E-C. It's just more efficient. And remember, YouTube is going to compress your video, so don't worry about saving file size. We want the highest quality video content possible. I don't recommend using the existing YouTube preset in Premiere Pro. We're going to use match high bitrate to start, and we're gonna make our own custom preset for high quality video. Go to video settings. Here, you're going to use match source to match your sequence settings for the resolution and the frame rate. You also can scale down if you want from 4K to 1080p, but do not try to scale up. Resolution can come down, but it's not gonna be good if you wanna try to go up. You wanna check maximum bit depth for the best quality. I shoot in 10-bit video on my Sony cameras. Most of you are probably shooting in 8-bit color, so just understand that the maximum bit depth is something that's gonna give you higher quality footage, but it can't make up for what you originally shot in. Change your video profile to high, and then next you wanna go down to the bit rate. This is what we're gonna really use to control our quality. If you shot at a low bit rate in your camera, moving the number up higher than what you shot at will not help improve the footage. Typically, I shoot in 50 to 100 Mbps. You can find that in your camera settings and know what you are shooting at. In Adobe, we want the hardware acceleration. We're gonna choose VBR, variable bit rate, and this is gonna help Adobe to dedicate more bit rate to higher detailed scenes and less to lower detailed scenes, and this is gonna be important. You can use two-pass VBR, and this will give you the highest quality overall possible, but it will take longer for you to render. For 4K video, I set my bit rate to about 30 to 50 Mbps, and I'm not too worried about the file size, I'm just worried about the quality. For standard HD 1080 video, you could use 12 to 24 Mbps, and that will help you when it comes to getting good quality and not having as much of YouTube compressing your video and it looking, well, not so great. Next, go to audio and set the bit rate to 320. Make sure you're checking off maximum render quality and from here, you can click either export and start rendering your video, or you can send it to the queue in Adobe Media Encoder and then render it that way if you wanna do this in batches, or if you want to uh, try to reformat multiple versions of the video for any reason. And there you go, the best export settings for YouTube in Adobe Premiere Pro 2022. And again, probably still good for you in 2023. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you're checking out my playlist on video editing and this video on how to be consistent in YouTube as a content creator. As always, thank you so much for watching and don't forget, go out there and create something awesome today. Take care.